Why should the Dekus be added in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2? Hello, I am Alderson, and today I will be speaking to you about why Deku should be in Breath of the Wild 2, the upcoming Zelda game. Dekus would add loads of potential to the games. The Dekus themselves would be in an army. They would use nuts, the Deku nuts, as their primary weapon. They would use them to throw them and to blind their enemies, but also to fly above their enemies and use them as bombs, as shown in Ujor's Mask. They'd be hiding in bushes and be in large numbers, although they would be weak to fire. This army would reside in the Deku Kingdom, where many other Dekus, the residents and citizens of the Deku Kingdom, will live in a huge Deku city. Though this city is ginormous, it would be well hidden amongst the forest. This Deku Kingdom would be similar to the Majora's Mask, but much more fleshed out, with its own lore and history behind it. It would have shops, inns, and even side quests. The Deku Kingdom would be at war against the monsters of the Forest Temple. The Forest Temple monsters would be led by the evil spider Goma, who would be the main boss of the Forest Temple. The history and new lore of this new culture of the Dekus in Breath of the Wild 2 would be discovered through Easter eggs, old heroes, sung in tales, and even temples scattered across the Lost Woods. Perhaps the Deku link shown in this video from Majora's Mask would be one of the oldest heroes sung in the Deku Kingdom. This would add much more variety in, not variety, but perhaps a connection between the older Zelda games and Breath of the Wild and Breath of the Wild 2. Because Breath of the Wild 2, as we know, would be the sequel, direct sequel of Breath of the Wild. So now I will tell you what may happen, what I would think would be really cool if Nintendo added Dekus to Breath of the Wild 2. As Link enters the Deku City, the music is happy and very cheerful. The Deku citizens are busy in their shops and little farms. It's a very bustling city, very hidden and very well hidden. The palace is grand, but also well hidden. And as Link enters the Deku Palace, the music intensifies into a much more royal and grand theme. The theme itself would resemble the Deku Palace theme as shown in this video. The Deku King is angry because of the war against Goma and her minions, who reside deep within the Forest Temple. The story would include a battle within the Deku City, where Link and the Deku army must defend the city against the onslaught of monsters. Link must enter the dungeon after he slays these monsters to slay Goma and end the war. There will be a festival celebrating the hero's return, and this will also open up new quests, lore, and much more to the Deku city and its people. I think the Dekus would be a very, very valuable asset, and it would add a lot of variety, not just to the forests of Hyrule, or the swamps, or wherever they may reside, but to the entire game. Because you see, Zoras and Gorons, they have a lot of history, they have a lot to them as a race of people, but if you look at the Koroks, I mean, yeah, Breath of Wild 2 should have Koroks, but the Koroks are more of a side attraction in Breath of the Wild, whereas the Force never really had its own race, not like the Kokiri or the Dekus, the older Zelda games. I believe that the Dekus would be a very, very valuable asset to Breath of the Wild 2. As you can see in the footage, the Dekus can get very riled up. Now, of course, this guy right here, the butler, he is much more reserved and he serves, he is the king's butler, he has to maintain a certain attitude, but even he is very emotional in these dark times in the first mask. Perhaps the Dekus would not be a warmongering tribe, but either way, adding Dekus to Breath of the Wild 2 would be very cool. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, click the bell for more, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Alderson, signing out.